Taylor will be the running back to start things behind Luck. That heavy setup, the tight end oriented Stanford offense. Bunched to the right. Start position 33, and Taylor is dropped. Right away, big stick for Washington State in a loss of two. Anthony Lorenzi made the big Washington State hit, second and 12. Luck standing in. Now Lowe's deep. He's got him in a great reaction to the ball. And Washington State intercepts. DeMonte Horton picks Luck, who had Jamal Rashad Patterson behind the secondary. A lot of air under the ball. Allowed DeMonte Horton to close ground. It appeared that he had him open, but just a little bit too much air. Great recovery by DeMonte Horton to come underneath that ball. It looked like Stanford had a big play on just the second snap of the game. Score a moment ago, they had a fourth quarter rally to make that game competitive. Stanford brings five. Two steps up, escapes, and he got out. He did not turn to try to get those. Actually, he did. He got enough to get a first down. He's marked at the 40-yard line. And this is one of the aspects of the game that Jeff Tool brings to you that Marshall Lobestall did not have, and it's his mobility and the way he can get running a little faster. So Stanford just pound away again. We got three on the first down. Hurts the tight end motions. Luck looks that way, swings it back, and there. Well, Luck will get back to the line of scrimmage. That will not be a sack. And that's notable because it's something Luck rarely, not only does he rarely get sacked, he rarely gets hit. Third and seven. They've been a good third down team this year, almost 50%, as you would expect. Cougars bring extra people late, but Luck has time. Oh, and Alusu is crushed. I hope that he's all right. Top of your screen, you'll see him come on just this little post route, get separation, safety. And here it comes at you in real speed. You'll hear this. And a hit delivered by Casey Locker, familiar name. Oh, Stanford brings pressure, but they beat him with an inside screen. Well done by Washington State to Marquise Wilson. Understanding situations, understanding what the tendency of your uh, opponent is. Drew Terrell to receive the punt from Dan Wagner. Terrell's going to have a chance to run this. Going to make a little tougher catch. And the Cougars cover it nicely. He could not turn the corner. And Anthony Carpenter drops. Terrell, Luck, getting ready to come back out in a scoreless game. I really glad his football's progressing. I mean, that's almost becoming commonplace, isn't it? Now running out of the shotgun. Get the rhythm going. And here's the big back, Jeremy Stewart. Another Zach big play Kleiner. by uh, DeMonte Horton. Yes. Another big play defensively. Kept his body right on Cleaner. Did a good job, and when the ball was delivered, stripped it with his left hand. And all but five of them touchdowns. Rick Slant. Waylon. Washington State. Good defensive pounce. They first man stopped him, and then you see three, four gray shirts for the final minute of the first quarter. Penalties like that delay a game or what hurt you when you're trying to win ball games and change who you are as a program. A run, and it's Ricky Galvin up the middle. Bursting, and he's very close to a first. I tell you, it's the it's the vision of Galvin in the probation and, and losing and the sanctions and losing scholarship. Washington State had lost scholarships due to the APR, the graduation rate, and they're finally going to get back to a full load. Tool, and there's Tool again doing his thing, and he gets a first down to midfield. And I'll tell you, Blake Luters 
looked around after the Ojai's break, especially that played with Zach Crockett, and one thing he was known for is high knees going through the mix of it. This time, not much. Stewart pushed it forward for about a yard. Well, we showed you the Stanford red zone success this year. And Too many guys just try to make a hit. They don't wrap up. Hoffman else wraps up, gets him down one yard shy of the end zone. Now Taylor is the deep back for Stanford. Luck's got the big bodies all ready to go. And they just power it ahead. And Taylor is stopped. Washington State. Which has not had a good red zone defensive year, but in this first half, they've played beyond that. C.J. Mizell gets right in there and yes. stands him up. That is a great play by a middle backer to bring his hips, wrap up, and finish a play. Just heavy, heavy lineup, strong bodies as Taylor goes to sweep left, and he's smothered short game, ball out. And let's see. I'll wait for the officials to signal. I believe Washington State has this one. Washington State came up with the ball. It certainly looked like a fumble. Taylor got hit as he was going down. The question will be, was his knee down before he was hit? And the referee, prompted by his fellow officials, signals Washington State ball. Well, let's take a look. Does his knee go down before he gets hit coming in here? He is not down. That ball is out. by Washington State. The runner is ruled down at that spot. First down. He's on top of a Washington State player. That's correct, and that's why he was knocked down. That ball was knocked out yep. very cleanly. Football, and right now they're hanging in there with Stanford. Winston, the play fake. Tool, an accurate throw to Karstetter. And that's going to be a first down inside the 30. Nine yards on that, and a Washington State first down. Gould did well there. It was a high shotgun snap, but that's the first one to burst up the middle for a Cougar runner, Carl Winston. And I'll tell you, he's 5'8", 200 pounds, much more straight ahead than Galvin, and just a spark plug. They love this guy. Yep. That's a long throw, and Tool got it there. And that's what the coaches, when we talked to Sturdy, the offensive coordinator, we talked to Paul Wolf. They all thought that Jeff Teal had it a little better arm, and he looked where that ball comes out of his hand. It's got zip on it. It goes across the entire field, and it makes a beeline. Receiver suckered, suckered that flag out of the Like pocket. an Italian soccer player. Winston driving, and they do run in for the touchdown. So Washington State a significant sequence of play starting with their takeaway. The defense gave him a short field, and then the offense punched it in. A great drive for Washington State because they had some setbacks, but constantly got over the hump. It's the personnel they want on the field, on the field. Kobe Fleener has not been involved yet. There's a lob to Whalen. Running and streaking down the sideline against Daniel Simmons, and it's incomplete. It's the bottom of your screen. Whalen is at the very bottom of your picture. And luck thrown for Whalen. Oh, and Whalen almost hit a great one-hand grab, and his right arm got tied up with Simmons, and that's what Whalen is talking about. And we're going to look at it right here. It'll be coming right at you to your right-hand side. This ball is up. Now, credit the route by, by Whalen. He does a nice job of giving Andrew Luck a place to throw the ball. Isaiah Barton. All right, the deep end for Washington State. This is going to be Barton running it, and he's going to bring it out from two yards. Nice. Now it's a foot race, and Stanford has to use closing speed. Barton to midfield. And you talk about the, the perfect play to keep your momentum going. You go into half with momentum from scoring and from stopping Stanford, and you come out with a huge return. Remember, 
the first series of the third quarter is always the most in building right it, it is again the, what stops a program from getting better it's the mistakes of of a young program but slant gets some of that penalty yardage back and that's galvin it's nice to see for washington third and 12. stanford only brings three Tool gets the middle, and that is going to be very close. Looks like he'll be about a yard short. You got to love about the Washington State's offense and, and their, their defense. Both sides of the ball is not given up. They're not backing down to Stanford. Float through there, get some yards, block, 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 pass. That's the philosophy. 11 yard gain. Dion Buchanan saved a touch. Wilkerson again. This time three yards, and he gets stuck. But this is what Stanford will do. They'll run multiple running backs. So here's a fresh guy in Wilkerson in the second half. Yeah. Watched to play a high level of professional football as well. And a big hit to the middle for Winston. They're going to start renovating the stadium at the end of this season. When you're trying to build that next level program. Walk on is an outstanding lacrosse player in high school. And Stephon Taylor gets the carry for short yardage. Toilolo is a good target for Andrew Luck. Jeff Toole has played the entire game for Washington State. His return, he has a wide open man across midfield. Marquise Wilson, by far the best pass game tonight for Washington State. Team defense to the ball. First and five, and there's a first down run by Winston. You know, Paul Wolf's in the position right now with this team that. They play so smart. A long third for Washington State. And Tool's got a man. Nice throw. And the Cougars are going to be at the 10. A big strike to Barton. So the first two downfield throws of the night. A national, nationally ranked top 20 basketball program. Stanford running here for a short game with Anthony Wilkerson and cuts through it at a base level. Three minutes. Marshall Lobestal, the seniors. That's a big game after Tool got hurt in week one this year. High school. His art instructor in high school taught the young man at the time who was Washington State's quarterback coach. As there's a first down catch to Ratliff. The process that ended up with the only offers Lobestal got was from Washington State. And he has done a great job this season of uh, kind of keeping the ship on course while, while Jeff Tool was injured. There's, there's talent out there. You just got to go find it. Look out the right flat, and it's Bobby Ratliff, and he takes it down to the Stanford 30-yard line. So talk about how it's every play, everybody seems to be where they're supposed to be, and they, they all close in on the ball. And here's a wow. Lobestall does a good job to get away. He's about to get sacked, and instead he runs it all the way down to the 15-yard line. Give the whole coming crowd a little something to that. Put their hands together. He was a game changer. You talk about the first African American head coach in the modern era, the first Latino head coach in the modern era that came Tom Flores and Art Shell. So Al Davis to me was always thinking about the future of the game. That's what you just saw there. And that's just from watching a little film on him. I think he's a guy that has a lot of promise. So the closing seconds, and Lobostal will get in on the run. Marshall Lobostal. And so a nice drive by Lobestall. 79 yards he takes the Cougars here in the final minutes. And I like the way he puts his shoulder down and delivers a blow. When he decides to go, watch this left shoulder go down. He delivers the blow and gets in there.